Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers Masterpiece review. Thanks to the team over at Robot Kingdom, today we're taking a look at one of the Takara Mall exclusive Masterpiece packs. This is a Masterpiece set of tapes consisting of Stripes, Night Stalker, Enemy and Wing Thing. First of all, for you coin collectors out there, you get a Cassettron and Cassette Bot coin. Rather nice one there very very nice indeed and just taking a quick look around the box this is a new mold night stalker is basically steel jaw so i am hoping very much that we're going to be getting a blaster and a twin cast obviously it's not essential uh kfc did a pretty good job with their blaster it looks the part in my collection but if we can get an official one out, that would be ruddy marvellous. Just taking a quick look around the box. You've got them in all of their glory. Loads of uh, stuff there that I don't understand. And if we just look at the bottom here, it looks like Stripes comes with gold launchers now. I thought the original product shots for him had him with silver launchers, but I could be wrong. Everything comes nicely packaged in a plastic clamshell. We are talking 90s vibrance here. These things are almost luminous. And we get a big set of instructions and a cassette bot versus cassettron card, which has ruddy lovely artwork on there. Yeah, wing things looking a little bit lackluster there. It looks a bit like the Nanajon poop coming out there, but all in all, it's a pretty good team. I never got the encore version of Twincast. I wanted to. That came with uh, Stripes and Night Stalker, didn't it? Each of these cassettes come packaged in these little baggies to avoid any scuffs. Look at that. That's actually remarkably nice. Extremely vibrant. And on the back, it's not the most tidy of cassette bots but you know that's not that's not bad is it right now let's transform night stalker up first uh, first port of action is we need to bend these pieces upwards god they are incredibly stiff and then pull them over to the front bring the legs down on either side bring those all the way around to the bottom and this piece is going to come untabbed and you want to bring those round to the back we can bring the tail out and around bring these small paws out and bring them around to the front and then bring these hinges down and these hind legs you want to bend upwards and then back down and you can just flatten out those feet so we're left with something that looks like this from the side you can then bring out night stalker's head lots and lots of hinges here and then just bring these around to the front and around to the front you can then adjust these legs just bringing them around so the paws are facing forwards and then we can bring these rockets down on to the back there and you need to just bring these pieces back he certainly looks like Night Stalker or Steel Jaw, doesn't he? Mine doesn't quite tab in as tightly as I would like. I don't know what I've done there, but it doesn't like tabbing in. Nothing's, nothing's getting in the way or anything there. It's just that it keeps wanting to split on that head. Uh, but if it didn't split, the head up and down. We've got articulation coming out, sides on those. We've got a mushroom peg on those arms, they can rotate. 
we have a full bend on the lower arm and we have a pivot on the front paws. Uh, the back can arch up and down as to can the rockets and then we have forwards and backwards motion out to the side on those hind legs. We have that bend at the knee, again another bend on the lower leg and a final bend on the front paws. Next up is stripes and that is an absolutely gorgeous, vibrant orange for him. Now of course stripes' transformation is exactly the same as the Ravage transformation. I do love the colour scheme on this guy. <laughs> Just look at that. That is wonderful, isn't it? Let's bring the paws out to the side, around and around, down and around. That's looking better already. Then bring this out to the back, bring the legs out and down. We have a tail like this and we can just bring those in together. And of course let's flick his nose out. Just finishing him off, really, really vibrant, nice Autobot insignia on there. Looks much better as Stripes, in my opinion, than he did as Ravage. I'm never very good at posing a feline pose. Obviously, that sh the back should arch there, shouldn't it? And then this should come up like that. Yeah, really nice colours. And we have two Stripes on top. Perfecto. Next up is wing thing and I've got a new lighting system in here. I'm hoping that you can just see how luminous this thing is. It is sickening. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, let's just bring these down. What are these guys? Are these the like B team or, or the C team for uh, Sound Blaster and Twincast? I'm never really sure where they are on the scheme of bots. Bring this down, bring this down, those down, those down, and rotate. Open up the wings and bring the torso back over and bring the jets down to the back. And finally, let's not forget the little pointy bits just over like so. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is a thousand times better than Ratbat. And again, uh, really nice and uh, kind of stiff joints. Really good, clean paint applications as well. Uh, some of the original sets that I got with Soundwave were a little bit sloppy. Um, Insignia is kind of over to one side a little bit that kind of 3D look to it, but all in all, that's an exceptionally vibrant... <laughs> yes, he's different. And of course, last but by no means least, we have Enemy. Again, very clean paint applications on there. Very vibrant figure. Look at the gold. Lovely. Uh, let's bring these up and bring these down. They can come down and extend, down and extend, bring those feet down like that, extend the waist, arms can come all the way down, rotate the legs, bring the arm down, extend, flip the fists out. Now I'll come around to the back. Flip the head up and rotate that around. Slide the knees forwards 
and there we have him all transformed up uh, we can now bring out his accessories they come in a three stage baggie which unfortunately you kind of have to rip to get in so those of you who like to display your figures complete uh, but then want to put them back in the baggies unfortunately this one is going to rip there we go they're plugged in now the connection on the back there is extremely tight pop that on his back and there we go clean paint applications very vibrant looking figure and here we have them all together and don't they look fabulous also come with a very neon kind of pinkish cassette case with transformers engraved on it uh, but no they're very good figures now they're not cheap for what you're getting because they're the Takara Mall exclusives and to be honest with you the only real negative I would say about this set is probably Night Stalker's head just not quite lining up correctly I've looked at the instructions I think I've pretty much got everything covered you can't really go that wrong with it um, stripes looks amazing really really nice figure one of my favorites of the set uh, definitely holds together a lot better than ravage uh, wing thing definitely comes across as a lot more vibrant than what i initially thought in some of his stock photos and enemy enemy enemy's good you know he's nice clean it's nice to have that big vibrant gold on the front there uh, but it's always nice to get a load more cassette bots hopefully there's going to be more on the way and like i previously mentioned i really do hope we're going to get a masterpiece blaster or twin cast and finally here they are with some of their third party comrades and they really do look good all together can't wait to get more of these season four cassettes in my collection thanks again to robot kingdom for making this review possible i'll include a link in the description below where these can be ordered and until next time from myself and the cassette bot versus cassette tron pack thanks for watching goodbye